Will you join me in our call to worship? We gather this morning to find joy and comfort in one another. Come, let us worship together. Good morning, Birmingham Unitarian Church. Good it is good to be back together again. Whether you are joining us here in the sanctuary, remotely via Zoom, or watching this recording later, it is good to connect with you. As a multi-platform church, it is important for us to build a bridge between online and in-person participants. We're calling this connection opportunity greeting our virtual neighbors. First, we will project the image of folks who are currently on Zoom up here on our screen and ask them to turn their cameras on and give us a wave. Now, we who are gathered here in person will turn to face the camera in the back of the sanctuary and give them a wave. Whenever and however we connect with BUC, we are building BUC. At home, on campus, in the world, every day, we are Birmingham Unitarian Church and we are building the beloved community. We join with other Unitarian Universalists around the world as we light our chalice with words by Rachel Hayes. We light our chalice this morning with our hearts turned to the work of our congregation. We have inherited this institution from generations of people who believed in the power of human beings to bear love into the world. We carry this tradition for those who find comfort, inspiration, and joy within its real and virtual spaces. We tend the spark of imagination and hope for the world to come.
right, everybody, we're going to have to bring the energy up like 10%, or I'm just going to make Myra keep playing that. <laughs> That's just how it's going to be. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. All right, welcome to Celebration Sunday. Today we have multi-generational service. We do that on the first Sunday of the month. Spending time together reminds us that we are a church of many generations, and it gives us a chance to build relationships across those generations. This month's worship theme is giving. Over the next several weeks, we will use different stories and ideas to help us think about what it means to give. And then in December, our theme will be receiving. Today's service will center on an old favorite story, Stone Soup. Stone Soup is a classic story of making things better by working together it is a story that teaches us that we create abundance through simple acts of generosity. The mission of Birmingham Unitarian Church is to be a free and welcoming religious community that encourages lives of integrity, learning, service, and joy. One way we live out this mission is by giving half of our weekly offering to a nonprofit organization that shares our values and addresses needs in one of these areas. Environmental action, economic justice, civil engagement, and racial justice. We support a new organization each month. However, this month's plate collection is a little different. In November, recipients is BUC's Emerging Needs Fund. This is a fund that is used to provide direct support to people experiencing financial difficulties. This includes both people in our congregation and, and people from the community who have contacted us looking for assistance. We typically ask for contributions to be to the uh, emergence fund in November in anticipation of increased needs during the winter. Let there be an offering in support of our beloved community as we build the world we dream about where everyone has enough and live with dignity. This morning offering, offering will be received with gratitude. Ushers, please come forward.
We are a church of open mind, loving hearts, and helping hands. With gratitude, we dedicate this offering to the good works of our congregation and dedicate ourselves to service. We come to the time in our service that we set aside for prayer and centering practices. We, get, we begin usually with the sharing of joys and sorrows from our congregation. Um, this morning we have not had any joys or sorrows submitted. Remember, you can do that online or by filling out the, uh, there's a book in the back of the sanctuary. I invite you then to join me in the spirit of prayer and centering. Spirit of love and life, mystery known by many names and no name at all. We gather as a community brought together by love and brought together by commitment to each other. We are here not because we share an understanding of the world and of mysteries, but because we share a desire to understand the world and mysteries and each other. May we find here reflections of ourselves that bring comfort. May we find here loving disagreement that causes us to grow. May we find here joy, acceptance, and belonging that we had not known before. May we be shelter and home to one another. May we be vessels of work bringing this world into a, a time of justice and peace. If we can't do that for the world, then let us do it for each other and for ourselves. We must be steadfast in those commitments. May it be so. Amen. And blessed be. Once upon a time, there was a village. It was a very nice place to live, except for one thing. People did not like to share. One day, a visitor came to town. He 
said, Hello, does anyone have any food to share? Everyone said, No. That's okay, said the visitor. I will make stone soup for everyone. Then he took a stone and dropped it into a giant pot. <laughs> After some time, the visitor sniffed the stone broth. A few people came outside to see what he was doing, and a few more watched from their windows. Mm, I love stone soup. The only thing better than stone soup is stone soup with onion, said the visitor. That gave one villager an idea, and they brought an onion to put into the pot. Then the visitor said, I once had stone soup with onion, onions and carrots. That was delicious. That gave another villager an idea. They brought some carrots and put them into the pot. Then the visitor said, I once had stone soup with onion, carrots, and cabbage. It was amazing. Another villager brought cabbage and added it to the pot. Then the visitor said, You know, I heard some people make stone soup with, uh, with onion, carrots, cabbage, and rutabaga. One of the villagers ran off then came back with some rutabagas and added them to the pot. Then the visitor said, uh, Some say the best way to make stone, stone soup is with onion, carrots, cabbage, rutabaga, and celery. One of the villagers remembered they had some celery, so they got it from home and added it to the pot. Then the visitor said, Of course, most people agree the best stone soup has onion, carrots, cabbage, rutabaga, celery, and some peppers. Not to be outdone, one of the villagers scampered home and got some peppers, which they quickly added to the pot. The soup cooked and cooked. Finally, it was ready. Everyone ate a big bowl. They all said, this is delicious. They all said, this is delicious. <laughs> the soup made them so happy that they had a big party and danced <laughs> and sang <laughs> all night long. All night long. <laughs> the end. <laughs>
my daily affirmations. I love you because your hands work for justice. Your eyes are my lucky charm against misfortune. I adore you for your gaze that looks to and creates the future. And for your sincere face and wandering spirit and your weeping for the world because you are the people I love you and because our love is neither famous nor naive and because we are a couple that knows we are not alone
Go now into this world as a beacon of hope and joy. Go in love, go in peace. Now that our worship has ended, our service begins. May it be so, amen, blessed be. Thank you.